if you were to be told to walk a plank and you were to be given $20 to walk that plank, would you do it? Most likely you would say yes. Now let's say that you have to walk a plank across two buildings. There's a building on the other side and there's a plank that you can walk Pie that you can walk across and it leads you to the other building. Would you still do it? All you got to do is walk towards the plank and they will lead you to the other building and you'll get paid the same $20. Would you do it? Most likely you would say hell no because it's like, why would you do that for $20? You're risking your life. You could potentially die and you wouldn't do that just for $20. There has to be a bigger reason behind it. Now, let's say that across that building, your child is there and let's say that that building is on fire. Would you still walk across the plank going to the other building knowing that your child is there and that there's a fire in that building most likely you would say yes because he's your child and you want to save your child's life you don't want to lose your child so you would do it and you wouldn't even care if they do it for the money or not you wouldn't care about the 20 dollars. you would do it for free because that's your child's life on the line those examples made me realize how powerful having a why is how powerful having a deep purpose a deeper meaning behind what you're doing how powerful that is in life because you got to realize that our purpose is what drives us to live every single day. Without having a meaning of this life that you're living, you're most likely going to be, you know, I guess you could have, I guess you could say you most likely will live your life very depressed and sad and kind of lost because you wouldn't know why you're doing what you're doing. I mean, like imagine going through a life and doing so many things and not knowing why you're doing it. You know, like that's very like, you know, that's very like depressing in a way, right? Because it's like, there's no real, there's no big reason behind why I'm doing this. You know, and after I read that book, The Compound Effect, and that example really stood out because I don't, I don't think a lot of people realize how important it is to have a purpose or to have a reason or more specifically to have a why behind the things that you're doing. And really, a why is what drives everything that we do every single day. I mean, if you go to work every day and you go, you're doing it for the money, right? You're doing it to earn a living. But there's a bigger reason behind that. Maybe you have kids and you want to take care of them. The reason why you're going to work is not only because of the money. It's more so because you want to take care of your family. That's a why in itself. So the reason why you go to work is not because you want the money or because you want these materialistic things. There's a bigger reason behind all of that. And that reason is what drives you to wake up every single day. And, you know, sometimes there's some people who wake up every single day and work jobs that they absolutely hate. But they do it because there's a bigger reason behind that. There's a bigger reason why they work that job that they hate. That probably pays them good money, but they still hate that job. But they know that they're doing it because there's a bigger reason behind it. You know, so a why is the most crucial thing that you need in life. The meaning, a meaning, a meaning behind something that you're doing. We start to accept a change in our life when we start to understand why we're doing it. When we start to understand the reason behind it. Working out is something that takes a lot of energy. And it takes a, a bit of time throughout your day, like an hour or two hours. Working out is not an easy thing, especially if you're just starting out. But a lot of people work out. And you got to realize that every single person that works out, including myself, has a reason behind why they're working out. That reason is what drives that person to work out. Maybe you don't even work out at all, right? Maybe you don't work out at all, but you're unhealthy. You have this big gut. You are unconfident. You look at yourself in the mirror and you don't even like who you are. You start to work out. You start to lift some weights. You start to, you know, eat healthy. You start to go to the gym. You start to do these exercises and then you start to lose this body fat. What's the reason behind that? What's the reason why you're putting yourself through all this, you know, all this physical stress that you're putting yourself through, through working out? You're putting your muscles through all this stress, all this, you know, you know, tear down and repair all this process that you're putting your muscles through. What's the reason behind that? For many people, it's different. For, for some people, they're unconfident in themselves. For some people, they don't like who they are when, you know, they're unhealthy. For some people, they go to the doctor and the doctor tells them that, yo, you need to start working out or you got a couple of years to live or, you know, you, you're you not going to live that long. Your heart is not that good. The why behind why people work out, it can be different for so many people. But that reason itself is what drives them to wake up every single day and hit the gym in the morning or to come home from work and hit the gym at night, knowing that they're tired and they have no motivation. They have no type of willpower anymore, but they still go to the gym and work out because the reason behind it is too strong for them to not do it. That's the power of having a why. That's the power of having a purpose, having a meaning behind the things that you're doing. Meaning is what drives us to do certain things. Everything that you do every single day, whether you're going to work, you're working out, you're sleeping earlier, there's a bigger reason behind that. When I wake up in the morning and that is early and I don't feel like working out, especially right now that's winter, you know, right now it's winter. So like, you know, you know, it'd it be getting cold. So like your boy because be, be cozy and, you know, it'd be hard, you know, sometimes to wake up early in the morning. But I still do it because there's a bigger reason behind why I'm doing it. You know, I'm just not I'm not just waking up early just to wake up early. 
and just to be like, oh yeah, look at me, I'm up early, I'm earlier, I'm up earlier than everyone. Like, I'm not doing it for egotistical reasons. I'm doing it because there's a bigger reason behind why I'm doing it. There's a bigger reason why I'm waking up early in the morning. There's a bigger reason why I go to sleep a lot earlier. There's a bigger reason why I spend way less time on my phone now. There's a bigger reason why I try to minimize the distractions in my life so that I could be more productive. There's a bigger reason why I work out and I put in this work knowing that I still have a good body. I'm still confident in myself. I don't need to necessarily work out, but I still do it because there's a bigger reason behind it. You know, like I, I, I still eat healthy knowing that, you know, I could eat myself pizza right now. I don't even like pizza. Let me erase that. I could eat myself some chips right now, some a good ass soda or some some iced tea. Like, get rid of the soda because I don't drink soda like that at all either. You know, like I could I could get myself some Arizona iced tea right now, a good sandwich with some good Takis. I could get myself this this good food. I don't need to eat healthy, but I still do it because there's a bigger reason why I do it. There's a reason behind why I do all these things. So you have to figure out the reason why you do the things that you're doing. You know, because if you have no reason to do certain things, if you if you're doing something but you just do but you don't have a reason behind it, this will help. This will lead you to be more lost in life. This is why I, uh, people sometimes feel lost in life because they don't know the meaning behind the things that they're doing. They wake up every single day, they go to work, they come home from work, they watch Netflix, and then they they repeat this cycle every single day. They start to feel lost because they don't have a bigger reason behind the things that they're doing. You know, if you're working a job. There has to be a bigger reason why you're working a job. You're not just working a job to get by life. You know, like maybe you're working a job to, you know, supply to, to support your bigger dreams, to support your dreams that you have. That job is just something small that you're doing to support the dreams, to, the, to support the bigger picture. When you start to look at it that way, you're going to look forward to your job. Even though you don't like your job, you're going to start to look forward to your job because you know that this job is just a small part of the bigger picture that you have, the, the, the bigger things that you're working on. This small job is just helping you to support your dreams. So it's not really a big deal. But when you start to look at your job as the only thing and you start to look at it as, you know, you don't even know the reason behind why you wake up every single day and go to work. That's when you start to feel lost and start to feel this anger, frustration towards your job and towards waking up every single day and having to go to work. You feel that way because you don't have a bigger reason for why you're doing that. You know, the same way with working out. If you don't have a big reason for working out, then most likely you're going to fall off from your workouts. You're not going to be consistent and you're going to end up eating unhealthy and you're going to go back to your old bad habits because there's no big reason for why you're doing that. There's no big reason that you have to work out in the first place. So figure out the purpose, figure out the meaning behind everything that you're doing. Once you look at it, once you have a big meaning for the things that you're doing, you're going to look forward to waking up every single day and have this energy to wake up and work towards that thing that you're doing because you know that there's a bigger reason behind it. You know, like a lot of us, we work towards our dreams. We work towards becoming financially free we work towards you know becoming you know some some something big some of us do it for our family some of the some of us do it for ourselves to get get out of this hole that maybe you dug yourself in we have all we all have reasons for why we do certain things you know so figure out the reason that you do that you do your thing figure out why every single day you wake up early figure out why you work out every single day figure out why you still do the work you still put in the work even when you don't feel like it anymore there's going to be days where you literally have no motivation to do anything but the why the reason behind why you're doing it will give you that extra fuel you need to continue to do it in those days that you have zero motivation there's going to be times in your journey towards self-improvement in your journey towards accomplishing your goals towards chasing your dreams there's going to be times where you're going to come through or come face to face with a lot of obstacles a lot of challenges but having a why, having a purpose, having a meaning behind the things that you're doing is going to give you that courage, that resilience to overcome these challenges because you know that there's a bigger reason behind it all. There's a bigger picture. You know, these challenges that you may have in your improvement journey and your chasing your dreams journey and your accomplishing your goals journey and any journey that you're at, there's going to be some obstacles along the way. But having a why will give you that courage and that resilience to overcome these challenges because you know that there's a way bigger reason behind it all. But anyways, that's all I got to say. I'm out.